Boxing is one sport that requires tough sons of guns to partake in. Looking at the physical and mental agility that comes with it, boxing is undoubtedly the hardest sport in the world, going back in time where real men hit each other till their knuckles couldn't take it anymore, when a broken nose was regarded as a sign of respect and acknowledgement. I'm talking about fighters like Sugar Ray Robinson, the boxer you probably didn't know but was an icon amongst real boxers and real fans of the sport. He fought in three different weight classes and still dominated. He held a record of 202 fights and won 175 of them, knocked out over 100 people in his career. Sugar Ray was so good, he even inspired Muhammad Ali's boxing career. Whilst Ali was known for his charisma and his overwhelming self-belief, he was a beast with gloves on. Muhammad had a record of 61 fights and won 56 of those fights, knocked out over 37 his opponents. He really did live up to his icon phrase, float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. But someone who doesn't need to float like a butterfly, but will definitely sting like a hornet. It's iron, Mike Tyson. He's one of the toughest and most brutal boxer of all time, with a record of 58 fights. He won 50 of them, and 40 were through knockouts. You're probably asking, yeah, well, how does Manny Pacquiao fit into this? Manny Pacquiao, or Pac-Man as they like calling him, encompasses both the old age and the new age of boxing. When I look at Ray's agility, Ali's speed and Mike's toughness, I see Manny Pacquiao. He made his boxing debut in 1995. He was age 15. Like any typical boxer's life, he fought to survive. He realized that the only thing he had in this world was his family and two fists. Well, this video is not a mini documentary on Manny Pacquiao, but we will look at his top fights within his boxing career. Manny Pacquiao has an insane boxing record, 72 fights, coupled with 39 knockouts. Manny made sure his opponents went to sleep after the match. Firstly, we look at his fight with Miguel Cotto in 2009, a fierce Puerto Rican boxer who averaged a record of 35 fights with 27 knockouts. Manny had his eyes set on the prize and wasn't going to let another boxer derail him. The same could be said about Miguel. To him, Manny was just another fighter standing on his way to success. They both went jab for jab, hook for hook, and they both had to unleash some animal within them. But at the end, Manny Pacquiao had the last laugh and won by TKO on the 12th round to take home the WBO welterweight title. When Manny Pacquiao fought Ricky Hatton, the British boxers, who had 32 knockouts under his belt. The plan was to go in and target the vital areas on the human body and leave to have early dinner with the family. The British boxer was not ready for what Manny had in store for him. Lower body shots, jabs and hooks did the trick. And yes, the fight ended so fast before Ricky Hatton could remember where he was. Manny knocked out Hatton within the second round to claim the super lightweight title. The time Pacquiao fought Chris Algieri it was like looking at a grand master tease his student. Manny Pacquiao being that grand master, of course. Manny had Algieri doing gymnastics in the ring. Clearly, he didn't know where he was. Manny went for the kill and won by unanimous decision, and he retained his WBO welterweight title. This fight was no different. Manny underpromised and overdelivered. When he fought David Diaz, who looked like a threat at the time, Manny said, since you can't beat me, you can't catch me, why are you even here? Diaz had his fair share of hooks and jabs. He was so tired, he couldn't wait for the referee to stop the match. It was either that or brain surgery. The fight between Pacquiao and Eric Morales was one for the books. The two were well composed and ready for the punishment their body was about to endure well for Manny at least. Morales was on the floor so much than the actual floor itself. He started seeing butterflies and he knew that wasn't the right position to be in. He tried to stand his ground, but the floor was too wobbly for him. 
it was only a matter of time till they had to call him Eric Spaghetti Legs Morales. We could cover all his greatest boxing moments, but from this snippet video, you can tell that Manny Pacquiao was the GOAT, and it's crazy how people overlook this great boxer. From now on, when you look at the sport of boxing, look deeper, because there might be some hidden gems waiting to be acknowledged. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Mechloy TV, and please remember to subscribe and comment to let us know you were here before. Click on the next recommended video, and I'll see you there.